Hi everyone! Thanks to all of your help, I finally found a way to make this DIY crystal clear slime without any borax and using only eye drops and baking soda. This slime is really popular on Instagram and also known as Thai slime, Indonesian slime or jelly monsters. You can even use it to create magically transparent bubbles which you can hold in your hands. If you've watched this video on my other channel Macaroon, then you remember me talking about the game Best Fiends. Back then I was on level 36 and I've literally been playing this game every single day and now I'm actually on level 100. Best Fiends is absolutely massive for a free app, so there's a good reason why so many YouTubers are promoting this right now. I'm sure many of you already know that this is a puzzle battle game where you have to build up your team of bugs to defeat evil slugs. There are tons of side quests, including a new one for fan favorite Jean, which will be included in the next update after level 100. If you beat that, then you can win loads of diamonds and gold. Jean is actually my second favorite character from the game. My favorite character is obviously Jojo because she's a butterfly and has the same name as me. As you can see, I spent all my diamonds leveling her up and she's the strongest fiend on my team. So just click the link below to download Best Fiends for free and be sure to play on July 10th for a free gift. If you get stuck or need any help, then just write me a comment and I'll try to give you my best tips. Thank you for listening to all this and let's get on to making some slime. To get started, you'll need some clear PVA glue and some baking soda or bicarbonate of soda. Please don't get this confused with baking powder. Then you'll need some eye drops or contact lens solution. Look for the words sodium borate, boric acid, or buffered saline solution on the packaging. This means that it actually contains borax, so it's perfect for making slime if you live in a country where the pure version is banned. First, pour all the glue into a bowl. The most common reason why slime DIYs don't work is because the glue you used didn't actually contain any PVA. PVA is simply an ingredient that is sometimes but not always found inside glue. It's often not written on the packaging, so you need to use trial and error. I've created this list of transparent glues from around the world which definitely contain PVA, so try to get one of these if you can. Here's a clip from a few days ago when I tried a different glue that looks literally identical to the blue pelican one I normally use. However, that brand obviously didn't contain any PVA because after adding baking soda and eye drops, it just turned into a weird foamy mixture like this. Once you have your glue, mix in half a teaspoon of baking soda. Then add some food coloring or ink. Try to mix this as slowly as possible, which reduces the air bubbles so you don't have to wait as long for the slime to become crystal clear. Now start adding your eye drops or contact lens solution. I needed about 8 of these single-use eye drops before the slime started coming together. I personally think that the contact lens liquid is easier and cheaper to use for making slime. I added a bit of that before taking the slime out to prevent it from sticking to my fingers. Now this basically looks exactly like the first crystal slime I made. It's got the right texture but is not completely transparent. Many viewers told me that the secret for crystal clear slime is just to leave it alone for a few days and wait for the bubbles to rise to the top. So I decided to make a second batch of slime using purple food coloring. And then I put both of these inside a small airtight container and left it alone. So after 7 days all the bubbles have gone and it looks like this which I think is quite amazing. You can see there is almost no difference between the DIY version and the crystal slime that I bought online. Both of them even smell exactly the same, so they must be made with really similar ingredients. However, the color is noticeably darker and that's because after mixing the glue, all the air bubbles made the slime look lighter than it actually was. So try to use food coloring very sparingly if you want to make a soft, pastel-colored crystal slime. In any case, I was really happy with how this turned out. I deliberately did not use any water because I wanted to make a thick putty-like slime. You can pull a small piece off and attach that onto a straw. Then hold it in place with both hands and blow very gently to create a bubble. 
In most of the slime bubble videos I watch, the mixture is very liquidy, so people simply put that on a table and stick a straw into it to create bubbles. However, this slime is really thick so that you can actually create fully transparent bubbles and then seal off the end so that you can even play with them. It does take a bit of practice though. I ended up making a beautiful giant bubble which I used for the thumbnail photo, but unfortunately I didn't manage to catch that on video. It's also worth mentioning that it becomes harder to make larger bubbles if you see tiny air bubbles inside the mixture. So try doing this with fresh crystal clay or make enough so that you have some to play with and some to make bubbles with. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have lots of fun trying it out. Thanks to Best Fiends for sponsoring this video and don't forget to click the link below to get the game for free. If you're not already subscribed to Cute Life Hacks, then please do so because there will be a huge giveaway once this channel reaches 500,000 subscribers. I'm basically giving away all the remaining things from my closed online shop, which includes hundreds of gifts, craft supplies and jewelry. All the details are in this video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!